focus again on the topic of this, of this lesson, which is the relationship of fractions and decimals. What is the topic of the lesson? Fractions, fractions and decimals. Yes, the relationship of fractions and decimals. Very good. Let's go back to our place value system where we're looking at where we have 0. We do not have a 1. We do not have a whole. We have a 0, and we have the decimal point and 1. Let's review the place value of the decimal system, which is very easy. The first place value is tenths. So if we have a 1 here, we have 1 tenth. The next place value is hundredths. And I emphasize again the th, hundredths, not to get confused with hundreds. And next one, thousandths. The th is emphasized, thousandths. OK. When we look at tenths, let's begin the first column, our tenths. I want you to go back to this pizza. We went back to our pizzas we, when we talked about simple fractions. You can cut that pizza how many ways you want, how many slices you want, but we still have one whole pizza. Here we have a pizza now. I want you to think of it. We've got, let's count the slices. Let's take a red pen and count these slices. You've got one slice, two slice, three slices, four slices, five slices, six slices, seven slices, eight slices, nine slices. We have now 10 slices. I want you to think of that 10 slices of pizza. Think of that pizza now, not cut in fourths and eights like dominoes. No, that pizza cut into 10, 10 slices. I want you to take that 10, and we've just drawn an arrow from our 10 slice pizza. Because when you think of pizza, I want you to now start thinking of it in slices of 10. So it corresponds with tenths. Now let's watch. Right now we have one pizza. If we're going to write that pizza, it would be this. It would be the number one. Because that's what we have. One whole pizza equals one. But now, this pizza's not going to last too long. It's a good looking pizza. So let's take slice number one. And we're going to eat that slice. And there we go. Slice one is gone. Slice one is gone. Now, I ask you, Paul, do we have a whole pizza now? No. No, we don't have a whole pizza. We don't have one pizza anymore. We've got less than one because one slice has been eaten. So now what we have to do is this. When we don't have one, we've got fractions and decimals. That's a key point to make. Let's take a look at this now. What's our fraction say? We've got, we had 10 slices, so there we go. Here's the 10. The denominator is the total amount of slices. Let's just put that there, too. Let's put that in black. Total. Because before I had that slice of pepperoni, there were 10 pieces of pizza there. But now I eat that slice. That slice is gone. So now let's take a look. How many slices are left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine slices out of, there's that, those words, nine out of ten. Nine tenths. How do we write that decimal? As I said, you think of pizza, you think of ten slice pizzas. Ten tenths. We don't have one anymore since I ate that slice of pizza, so let's erase this one. We've got what? How many slices we got left, Paul? How many? We have nine. You're absolutely correct. We have nine slices of pizza left. So we write nine out of how many, David? Nine of ten. Yes, nine of ten. So we have nine, and let's put those words there again, those key words, those key words, nine out of, out of what? Out of ten. 9 out of 10. That's the fraction. Now let's write the decimal. We carry over here. 10 slices of pizza corresponds with the tenths. 9 tenths is how you write the decimal. That corresponds with the fraction 9 tenths, 0.9 tenths. Both 
are less than one. They are less than one because we no longer have one whole pizza. Nine tenths, nine tenths.